everybody. Today I want to show you, I had a job come in, uh, I was a designer, usually designers want what we call a waterfall skirt. So uh, just to review maybe, or just to let you know for the first time if you're watching for the first time, there are different types of skirts. This is a straight skirt, some people call it a straight pleated skirt. Um, there's also a really old fashioned, I haven't done one in a while, a boxed skirt with its multiple pleats. There's also what we call a ruffle skirt, which I haven't done for quite some time. It's just, uh, or gathered, some people call it gathered, and that's just what it sounds like. You need a lightweight fabric if you're going to do one of those. Haven't done one of those in a while. People are just not even doing skirts now, so uh, a little unusual that came to the shop is a waterfall skirt. So I want to show you, it's a very distinctive style. It, it almost looks like a half upholstery, half uh, slipcover job, so it's really interesting how you do it. Um, so I just have a mock-up here. It's not the fabric I'm using for this, but I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to put a seam. So uh, the fabric that you cut on this, you want to cut it about six inches bigger this way. And this way here, the usual, uh, probably want to go six inches too. Make sure you have ample material to use. So what you do with your fabric is you get a piece of muslin. You have to use muslin for this. Okay, you sew it face to face, which I just did. Face to face like so. Same size. The muslin's the same size. So this is the bottom. So I sewed a seam across the bottom, okay, face to face. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's just like a big panel of uh, a skirts. If you've ever done one of these skirts, that's what it is. So I'm going to go to the machine and just sew uh, these ends down. I just wanted to show you where I'm at. That's the first seam I put in at the bottom, and I'm going to do the ends, the sides now. So let's do that. I'll do that quick. Do something. The most important thing, you guys. <laughs> Just gonna cut this down again. The reason you do the bottom first. Just want to show you this. Is that you you pull it up. Watch this. You want to pull it up like this before you sew your ends down, so that you have a seamless um, on the bottom. It's seamless. See. So I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> this now. So these get ironed out. The bottom, the bottom has to be ironed out. So what you've created is a big pocket. So it's like a, it's like one of these, it's like a big one of these, only is your outside back. The whole thing is, uh, is your outside back. <coughs> Just want to show you that after this is ironed out, it's got a nice straight edge on the bottom, like so. See that? Once it's on, so applying it is tricky too. So when you when you have a chair like this, I'm going to turn the chair around, and show you. So on the on the on the seat you actually have to come off the seat with it so you, you have actually have to make so if you were doing that you would make your panel you actually have to make uh, cuts here to get this to come around like so and it comes right from the deck you've seen me do seats and decks before it comes right from the seam line from the deck to the seat and it goes all the way down to the floor like so right like that um, on the side. Sometimes you have a wire edge which makes these very difficult to do, but this is a hot edge so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's just show you the sides. Hope you're following this. I want to show you one more point. So so you see how you have a challenge here with the with the drop with the angle of the back. So you would start with the piping up here like this. Forget that this is here. Forget that this is here. And then you would use your ply. You definitely need to use your ply grip. Um, hand stitching this is impossible. 
ply stitch right to here, right? And then when you put your piece on here, you actually have to, um, what I would suggest that you do is you go in the middle first, get your, get your, uh, your inch off the floor, by the way, get your, your skirt about an inch off the floor, and then start pinning. You don't want to stop ply gripping. You don't want to stop putting in the ply grip. Pin it first like we normally show you uh, with, your, with, this, with the lining and all. It's important to get the lining in, in with the fabric, so it's also important that a heavier fabric isn't picked for a process like this. You want a lightweight fabric, okay? So when you get to the corner, when you get to the edge here, you actually have to, you know, hand, do this by hand. This actually would come over to the, to the back, right like this. It's gonna be tacked here to about this point. It has to be at this point of the seat because you want to drop, it's gonna drop from the seat. That's, that's what you go by. Okay, so if that's 10 inches, this has to be 10 inches, so this is, I'm gonna actually going to show you this. Let's, let's get this pinned. So you might be surprised. This is a little scary for some people after they've, they've done all their panels. They've got a beautiful, you know, panel piece with the muslin in the back. And you'd be surprised what you have to do here to make this look right. So I'm pretending pretend like this has got to be covered the whole thing. This is just my sample piece. For you guys. So this would all be pinned and then this actually needs a cut at, at the height, let's say that it's the 10 inches height and it has to be cut this way through the fabric and, and through, I'm going to pull this over to give you a better representation of this. Hold on. The back's the easy one, it just, it just comes down. Let's just bring this over just a little bit. So this is an inch, let's say this is an inch off the floor. And this is the 10 inch point. Okay, and your angle, your angle should be this way on this, right? And the reason for that is this is going to come this way and, and tack. And watch what happens here. This is going to fold under, like so. And just fall nicely, look at that. You can have a pocket underneath here so that when the two intersect, the outside back and the outside arm intersect. See how nice that is and how, how it falls? So it, it's tight in this area and then falls loose from this area down. Actually, they look kind of nice, uh, but they're hard to do. Granted, there's a lot of hand stitching that might have to happen in here if you're not happy with the way that looks. Um, or sometimes we take a little glue just to hold that pocket, just to hold the bottom of that pocket, right? So that it doesn't droop down like this. Um, so that's it. That's that's a waterfall skirt. I'm hoping that maybe I can show you this. I'm not sure what our timing here is at the shop if this is going to be available for another YouTube video. But I just wanted to show you the basics of skirts. So you you got all those skirts. You got the box skirt. You got the ruffle skirt. You got the gathered skirt. Straight pleated skirt. Did I say that? And then you got the waterfall skirt. At least those four that I know of. If you know of any other, send it along. Let me know. <laughs> oh, I guess there's one other one. There's a straight skirt with, with tassels. Okay, that was a real old-fashioned, old-fashioned uh, fringe, I mean, and tassels. <laughs> I mean, you could do a lot, you could do a lot on a piece. Um, so there you go. We'll see you next time.